Hi there, so going to do a quick little introduction. I am Emma. I work for Little Miracles. I am based mainly at the Peace Bar branch, Spinney. I have worked for Little Miracles since 2018. I have three lovely girls. So I have my eldest daughter, who has received counselling through Little Miracles. I have my middle child who has learning disabilities and my youngest who currently accesses Little Miracles for just fun and games kind of thing to help her socialise. So I became part of Little Miracles essentially by accident. So I had volunteered for Little Miracles since before the spinning was around. So I used to run sessions as a volunteer when we were back in Wellington. And I used to help out occasionally when we were actually doing a two hour session in Paston. So I've been volunteering for Little Miracles for a very long time. Um, I knew from a very early age that I wanted to work in childcare. I am a big kid at heart and that was something that really drew me to working with children because I like to actually try and help put a smile on kids' faces and I didn't know that I would actually work in the Sen kind of side of it till later on when I was 16. So when I was 16, I, our family was blessed with an amazing little boy, my nephew, who turns 13 soon. And I, my biggest memory of actually being first thrown into that kind of environment of the hospital environment was when I was, he was 16, 17. He was a few months old. Uh, I hope I don't get my sister in trouble for this one, but I actually had to pretend I was 18 to go into the ward to go meet him for the first time. I remember being really quite nervous and quite scared I was. And I was I just kept thinking to myself, is this, this is how I'm feeling going into this situation. My sister was essentially there 24-7, and I was only there for a short time going in to see him. And I knew from that moment that I wanted to actually try and help and be there for families and help people that were going through similar to what my sister was. As as a sister, it's not nice seeing kind of what's going on and what kind of reactions that she would get going out. And I knew that I wanted to try and help educate people essentially that it's okay to have a disability and it's not something to be ashamed of and that's what definitely drew me to the line of working with children and especially <clears throat> children with additional needs and then having my own children one of which has only just been recognized as having learning disabilities in the last year it drew me to definitely wanting to help families and I want since then I've been part of Little Miracles and I kind of have been in the background volunteering and then being employed there as well so I definitely would say that it's something that made me want to go into that line being put in that situation and like I say, I was very young. I It was a high dependency ward. I went in. And the My sister had took me around to one of the back, <clears throat> back doors getting a bit. And I remember going in there, seeing my nephew in his um, cot, and he was all wires, tubes everywhere. And at that time, I was just thinking of, you can't help but look around. And I was seeing all these parents that were in similar situations. They were there that barely could ever hold their children because they weren't able to, but they were still bonding with their children. And it was 
a very emotional thing to go into there and see that. And even though I was quite young, I was only meant to be, you had to be 18 to get into that ward, you did essentially. And I had to, I remember wearing, um, it was a black jacket and a shirt kind of the blouse underneath to try and make me look a little bit older because I wasn't 18 yet to get on there, but I wanted to see my nephew. And just going into there and I knew from that moment that this was the kind of thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to help families. I wanted to help children. And the best way I knew how to was putting smiles on their faces and helping them to try and enjoy themselves and be okay with themselves. And since that moment, I've always wanted to work with children. So it's a little bit about me. Um, and I will most probably see you on the lives and the bedtime stories occasionally or little videos around and I'll see you all soon. Hey. Yes. Who's doing it? Who's doing it?